welcome back to my channel um, I'm so excited to be here with you today it is boxing day here in the UK and I wanted to film this video for you guys um, if I sound a bit funny or if I get out of breath it's just because um, I think I mentioned in the video sorry if I keep mentioning it I do have a cold so I do sound a little bit um, funny but anyway that doesn't matter um, happy Christmas I hope you had a fantastic Christmas I am filming my what I got for Christmas 2014 video I flip back and forth about filming this video like I do every year. Um, a few people had asked me in the comments, you know, oh, are you, are you making one this year? And I said, oh, I'm not quite sure yet. Would you like to see one? And, you know, people said they'd like to see one, and um, you guys seem to enjoy the ones that I've done the past two years. Um, but mostly, I found something really interesting. Um, I watched my last year's one. Firstly, I love watching these videos as it is. Like I have been searching it up. I just put what I've got, what what I got for Christmas, and look it up because they're just fun. Um, I don't think I don't take any harm by it. I know some people don't. Um, it's a bit of a funny subject, isn't it? It's a bit of a funny one. It's really difficult, but I just I enjoy watching them. I love seeing what other people got. I love seeing them excited about their presents. They're just. I just love being nosy, I want to see what my friends got. If you guys made a What I Got For Christmas video, I want to see it, link it down below. I love watching these. Um, so please go ahead, you know, link your What I Got For Christmas videos down below if you've made one and you watch this one. I'd, I'd love to see it. Um, but, of course, you know, I do want to do a disclaimer. I have got a lot of Christmas presents that I'm really grateful for. of a lot of different friends and family and all sorts of people and it's crazy and I'm really, really grateful for what I got. And I don't, want um, to be showing off in any way, <coughs> lose my voice or anything like that. But I actually think that the things I have got for Christmas that you guys are really kind of going to be interested to see. But mostly, I'll tell you the reason that really made me think, right, yes, I do want to do another one of these, is I watched my last year's one, um, a couple, um, probably like a week ago. And it was so interesting to watch. I said, I picked up a present and I said, this is the first present that I opened on Christmas Day. And, and, da -da -da -da, and I talked about it and I was like, you know, I didn't remember that that was the first present I opened on Christmas Day. I wouldn't have known that unless I had made that video. And we kind of forget the little details. And in that video, I've got all the little details about who I got what from and what it meant to me on the day. And it was so, it's a special video for me to watch back. So if anything else, I, I kind of just making this mostly for myself, I suppose, so I can watch it back in the future because I loved watching that other one back. And, um... It was just kind of really special to do, so hopefully you will enjoy it, but if not, future me, this is for you. Um, yeah, so here we go guys, this is um, what I got for Christmas, I'm going to jump right into it. I'm actually wearing some things I got for Christmas, and I know my hair is a mess, I'm sorry, it's Boxing Day. Um, I got this dress, which I love, it's green and black and furry. Um, I got these slippers, I put all these things on because I was carrying things up here. I got these slippers and these socks with a smiley face on. You see them, hopefully. Okay, so those are this. Okay, now the first thing, I actually opened a couple of things from friends before Christmas Day, but on Christmas, Christmas Day, the first thing that I opened was a 3D movie. Um, by the way, these aren't separated into movies, books, clothes, they're just literally random as I pick them up. So if you see some movies, there might be some more later on. And as for books, I will be doing a Christmas book haul, but I will be showing them this one as well. But I'll be talking about the books in more depth in the book haul. Anyway, right, let's just go into it. Pacific Rim 3D. It was the first Christmas present I opened. I haven't seen it yet. I'm so excited to see it in 3D. I'm excited to put it on my 3D shelf here and it's got a really cool lenticular slip cover. So this is the first thing that I opened Christmas 2014 that morning. So there we go. The second thing I opened is really cool. Scratch Globe! Scratch Globe. Okay, so this is a Scratch Globe where you have to build it, you have to put it together and then when you go around different countries and travel and stuff because I really definitely want to start travelling more and travel all many countries um, you get a uh, coin and you scratch a bit off and it becomes colour so the globe is like a brownie colour and then you scratch the bits off where you've been and it becomes colour so you can kind of see where, where you've been in the world and I am so excited to use this, I actually did see it and I said to my mum about it how cool is that scratching globe and then I didn't know that she got it though I kind of had forgotten about it after mentioning it and then opened it up like oh, scratch globe so yeah that was super duper exciting to get that I can't wait to put it together I'll probably um film some putting together of this in my random ramble so if you want to see how it works go ahead and check that out so that's scratching scratching globe I got some socks these socks are super cute look at that they're like symmetrical matching matching Santa socks more fluffy socks you just kind of have too many socks 
the socks are awesome. I got this SD card, I mean, I'm sure you guys know why I really need this. Um, so that is super good. Um, jelly beans, berry burst, I've not even opened these yet. I'm so excited too though. I should open them soon, I like jelly beans a lot. Got those jelly beans, and then, no, I'll do that in a minute. I got this, um, this lipstick, which is a red, a red colour. You guys can't see, you're very far away. I'm sorry, but it's a red colour. It's a pretty red. You have to trust me on that one. I got this, which is really, oh, rolling away. I need to get batteries for this, actually. This is really cool. It's a Mighty Boom Ball, and basically it's like a speaker, and you stick it onto things, and then that thing becomes the speaker, if that makes sense. But I can't show you an example, because I haven't got any, haven't got any batteries for it yet, so I do need to get some batteries for this, but it is really cool, and I've looked, I've seen some people um, do videos on it, so I'm really excited to use that. Okay, now this one, um, every year my mum gets me a wild card film. Uh, I think you might have heard me talk about it before, it's a film where obviously she doesn't quite sure if I've got it but it's a film that's a bit quirky and a bit different and this year this was my wild card film and it's Phoebe in Wonderland and I was so excited to open this I have seen this movie before but she didn't She didn't know this I love this movie and I've seen it um, you know, back when it was released but they never released the DVD in the UK so this movie came out in 2007 uh, 2008 sorry they never released the dvd until this year in the uk and then my mum picked it up for my wild card and i was so excited i watched it last night on christmas christmas night um and i love it uh this slip cover is seriously amazing i love it so much and i love this movie i will be talking about this movie more i think i might do a review on it it's a really really great underrated movie and it just it's so good i love it um so yeah that was a really awesome surprise wild card and i was so happy because even though I'd seen it, I was excited to watch it again, and like I said, I watched it right away, so that was my wild card movie. But, she actually got me like almost like a second wild card movie because um, she couldn't decide between the two and went ahead and picked up this one too. I've never heard of this, and it is The City of Lost Children. It is a French film, it does have subtitles or it does also have dubbed in English, but I've never heard of it. I don't really know what it's about, it looks very interesting and weird, that's kind of what we go for with these wildcard films. My last year's wildcard film was Mary and Max, um, but this is The City of Lost Children, so I'm really excited to see what this is about and talk to you guys about it, it looks very, very interesting. It just, I was like, ooh, this, this looks really interesting, so I'm very excited to, to um, watch that. Uh, and then here I have two CD soundtracks these I got in my stocking. Guardians of the Galaxy, the awesome mix. So yeah, I was really excited about this. I mean, come on guys. Dun, 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 dun. But the, the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack is so good. I love this. Um, so I can't wait to listen to this in my car and put it on my phone and just listen to the... I just, I really am excited about this one. Um, so that's super good. And then this one was kind of... Well, that, that was a surprise and this was also a surprise. But this one was more surprising. I was like, ooh... And it is the soundtrack for If I Stay, which I'm really excited about. I haven't seen the movie yet. It comes out in February, I think, on the 9th, 10th, I don't know. It comes out in February anyway on DVD Blu-ray. So I'm going to pick it up straight away because I've read the book, really enjoyed it, and the book kind of has a lot about music. I've heard the soundtrack's really good, so I was really excited to open this and see that I've got a soundtrack. I haven't opened it up yet, so I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm really happy about this. I'm really excited to listen to it, but I think it's really cool that my mum got this because... Well, she know that I she know that I read the book, but um, I don't know. It was just a really cool, nice surprise. I was just really excited about it. Um, so it was just like I don't know. I think I just wasn't. I didn't know. I don't know. It was just weird. I was just really excited about it. It's not something that I necessarily would have thought about, particularly even though I'd heard that it had a lot of good music in and stuff like that. And the book kind of involves a lot to do with music. Um, but I was I'm really excited to listen to this um, before I see the movie. So yeah, I'm plus. It's got the pretty cover that matches my book as well, so I was like, oh, yay, it looks so pretty, so it matches. Um, and there's some else I got, which I'm super excited about. If you watch my um, other videos, you might know that this would be really exciting for me. It's an icing set. It's so pretty, though. So it comes in this little tin, which is lovely. It has this little, little vintage-looking book, and then look at it. Oh, so it's got all the different little um, nozzles for the icing bag so you can make really pretty icing. I'm so excited to try this out soon. Um, I have never had um, anything like this so I just kind of whip the icing on with something. Um, so I'm so excited to try and do like pretty decorations and stuff like that. I just can't wait to use that. Um, so that was that was really really an awesome thing um, which I can't wait to use. I'm literally so excited to try all those out. They look so um, 
awesome. Like, I've got them all out and looked at all the little different patterns you can do and it's super exciting. So I'm really excited about that. And then I got this book and this was a surprise book. So I have got quite a few books that I got, um, but a lot of them, the books that I got, I asked for. Whereas this one, I didn't, I didn't even tell my mom about it. She didn't know that I wanted this book, but you guys might know it is a book that I would that I have wanted or known about and it's Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Seven and basically this book, um, I've heard Ariel Bissette talk about it a lot and um, and she, she really likes the book, she's talked about it quite a lot and I've always been interested in it, I kind of really wanted her to read it since then but I'd never mentioned it to my mum so I'd known about it, I was interested about it and you know, I wanted to read it and then this is my surprise book so I was like, oh, how did you know? So it was exciting. Plus, I actually got my mum a book by the same author, uh, which was um, the collected, the collect, what's it called? The collected works of AJ Figury, I think, because um, that was a book that she wanted. So I got her that, and then I opened this first, and then she opened hers, and we were like, oh, it's by the same author. So that was really exciting. So that is that one there, um, um, and I got these boots, which I love. I did, I did pick these out actually. I love them a lot. They're very, I just, I just really like them. And they're very comfy as well, I've been wearing them yesterday and today. Off! Uh, I actually got two things off um, this person, but the other things over there, so I'll show them out of sync, I'm sorry. But this was from my friend Katie, who um, has a channel, Books and Biscuits. Um, and this, so awesome, you should have seen my face. <gasps> it is a Groot top. Seriously. Groot Loops, it's got Groot on it. And a little Groot on it, and it's so cool. I love it so much. Look at that. Just look at that. I was so excited. I had it on yesterday and well I had it on last night and it's just I just love it. I just I love Groot and I love Guardians of the Galaxy. So this literally I was like, oh, it's Groot. It was it was so exciting. Um I was oh a little rocket raccoon. Oh man, it was so exciting this was. So thank you so much, Katie. I was seriously so excited and I love it so much, thank you. Um, it's just so awesome, so much awesomeness that I know I'm going to wear that so much because I love it so much. Um, and then I also got them from, these are from my mum, these art watercolours and uh, notepad things I like to do painting, so that's really cool. Plus, I, you might see my little paint set I've got, these have got new colours that I haven't got, so that's really exciting. Um, selection box, I'm sure lots of people get selection boxes, and I got a calendar, again I'm sure lots of people go with calendar descriptions, but this calendar I love. I actually did pick this calendar out myself, but it's so awesome. Um, it's 2015 calendar, it's a travel one. So you've got January's London, February's Paris, March is New York, April is somewhere else, maybe Canada, May is Russia, June's China, July is somewhere else, August is San Francisco, some of them I don't quite know, November's Rome, December's New York again, so it's got two New York. Actually, you know what, I don't actually think that one's New York. It just looks kind of like New York. Maybe it's like Dubai or somewhere. It's just a city with lights, but I just decided it was. But anyway, it's so awesome and I really, really love this. So I can't wait to put this up in January. Um, and then, you guys, you guys know, last year I got a Disney thousand piece puzzle. And then this year, I got a Disney thousand piece puzzle. So excited. This is the art, what's it called? Art, does it have a name? It's the Art Gallery Disney one, so it's di obviously different than the one I got last year. I completed the Thousand Piece Puzzle last year, I had so much fun doing it. I cannot wait to start on this one. I love it. I kind of hope that I have a little tradition that I get a Thousand Piece Puzzle every year because seriously, I love doing them. It takes me quite a few months, I do them like, you know, over time. Um, so I love doing these, so much fun. I got some more CDs that are music movie related, sorry, Hits from the Flicks, which is just um, a bunch of different songs from different movies, and then the Bridget Jones um, Diary soundtrack, which is super awesome because I love Bridget Jones, I've talked about it many times, I really like Bridget Jones, so I'm excited to give this a listen. Um, yeah, so it's got some really exciting songs on there. Um, another 3D film I got was Rio 2 3D, which I haven't seen yet, so I'm excited about this too. Um, yeah, so I haven't haven't seen this one yet, so I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to check it out in 3D. Blue Sky Studios also does... I don't know how Blue Sky Studios 3D. They do Ice Age, I haven't got... So maybe, I don't know really what their 3D's like, so I'm excited to know about that. Um, I'll just I'll show you some more clothes that I got. I got this jacket, which I love a lot. This hood's so soft. It looks like this. 
hopefully you can see clothes are hard to show so i'll just really briefly show you this is my sparkly christmas dress which i wore yesterday sparkle 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 it smells nice because mm, i had perfume on yesterday with it um oh pajamas so this is a this is just a this is a white pajama top but it's super super comfy and then these are the pajama bottoms which are so comfy i wore them last night so comfy they're spotty and they're literally so comfy i was just like so happy and then this is another pajama top which is so soft and um, this is a little owl purse hey <laughs> i guess my mouth maybe is not at the bottom there wasn't as good as a joke because it was in my brain um oh this is some perfume that i got i actually often um get this perfume it's kind of like perfume that i um use a lot it's a more and more so i really really like that perfume so i was really excited about that i got two di oops disney blu-rays um in the new slip covers so I'm, really, I'm excited to see how i feel about these ones i got princess and the frog which is so cute i love and pinocchio which i haven't seen i think i've seen it once a bit when i was younger and i remember the donkey bit but apart from that so i know i know i'm gonna watch pinocchio soon i'm gonna watch pinocchio soon got this jumper which again it's so soft so soft super super soft and then these jeans are actually really soft as well this is um my last of my clothesy things these jeans also feel really nice um they're jeans they're this color they really really feel really nice they're really comfy i've tried them on Ooh. i'll show you nail varnishes i've got quite a few nail varnishes because i'm a nail varnishy person so i've got this nicole by opi nail varnish which opi is like my favourite is nail varnish. I bought some when I was um, in America this this year and I love them. I got this glittery gold one for Christmas and then I got a selection of, I got four of the OPI Shatter Me Top Coat. Oh, that was the worst way to show them ever. Yay! There's gold, silver, black and red. I'm so excited to try these out. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to paint my nails in a little bit. And then I got this one too, which is corally. From my auntie, I got this Santa mug, and he's wearing a little hat. So cute. I wonder what I'll do with the hat afterwards. I'm probably going to put it on somebody. These little bookmarks, which are travel themed, which I see brought from the kind of match my calendar too. They're like little clip on bookmarks. Um, oh, and then some makeup y things. Foundation and this mascara so this is from my mum this is a mascara from the body shop and from sherry whose gifts i have back here she also got me one of these which is super awesome i'm so happy to have two of these because this is the only mascara that i can actually use long long story so having gotten two of these is so exciting and literally you don't understand it makes me so happy to have these because um yeah these are the only ones that i can use so it's really exciting when i get these for christmas so it's nice that people people know know me um yes i got one of these from sherry and one from my mum um the other things i got from sherry is a yankee candle in one of my favorite flavors not flavors scents soft blanket smells so good this is funny a frozen shower cap i should try it on <laughs> should i do that no not right now but it's so cute frozen shower cap and a starbucks set starbucks is like my favorite coffee shop it's a big starbucks mug with starbucks house blend and hot chocolate and a sprinkle machine not a machine but a sprinkle you know sprinkler i'm so excited about this i haven't even opened it up yet because i was like oh i need to show this because it looks so pretty in the in the box so i will open that up now later i think actually um from a cousin i opened this on christmas eve so you saw my christmas eve video i got a mug with jazzles in and a snowman um, i got some books off my mum um, she got me Where She Went, which is the sequel to If I Stay, um, because I love If I Stay, and I'm so excited to read Where She Went, and it matches with, with my other one, with my If I Stay, so that's really exciting. I got The Iron Trial, which everybody seems to have been reading, and I'm so excited to read this. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm so excited to read this. I, I will, I'm going to do a book haul, um, so I don't want to talk too much about that one. And then, this beauty... Rise of the Guardians, the art book. This is so pretty. Um, I'm gonna have to do a video all about this. 
it's just, let me find a page, it's just amazingly beautiful. Um, so this is like, oh, I just don't even want it, it's white as well, so I'm just like trying to be so careful with it all the time. Um, but yeah, I love, oh, you know what I've not done? I wonder. <laughs> I've not taken the, um, the dust jacket off. Let's see. Okay, this is the first time I've done this. Look at that. This, oh wow. It's even prettier. Um, oh, the other thing that I got from my friend Katie is so awesome. It's the travel listography. It's so cool. Like I said, as you can probably gather from a lot of these things, um, I like to travel and want to travel more. And it has lists, li lists of all places um, that you want to go and that you, no, that you have been and that you want to go and you can tick them off. And there's so many awesome things in here. Like, for example, cities and countries in Europe that I've been, that I want to go. You know, obviously it's got states and cities in America um, and then we've got funny things like surprising things I've done on trips um, favorite travel websites and resources spiritual places cities parks gardens and plazas and then it's got a little picture of Central Park it's so cool I love it so much seriously I have looked at every single page and I'm like I should put this on I should put this on and I'm so excited so thank you so much Katie if you're watching this video I really 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 love this thank you um, let me pop it there Okay, I'm going to do this way. Okay, so from Adam I got Arietti. Is that how you say Arietti? Thank you so much. I am so excited. This is Studio Ghibli. I'm so excited to see this. I've not seen this one. And I am excited very much to see this. It's also got the voice of Sasha Ronan. I can never say her name. Sasha Ronan? Is that how you say her name? But I'm really excited to watch this. As you guys know, I love Studio Ghibli. So I'm really excited about that. Um, from my buddy Ian. Buddy. <laughs> That's a funny word, my friend, <laughs> buddy. Uh, I got Rope, Alfred Hitchcock's Rope with um, James Stewart in, which I'm really excited to see. This is one that I think the concept sounds really interesting, um, and I can't wait to watch this one. And Grimm, which I have never seen, and I'm so excited to watch. I need to open this up. I'm going to watch this soon. I might watch an episode today. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I'm so excited to, to have this in my hands to watch. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, from Megan, um... And my friend Megan got me Blackfish, which is a documentary about a killer whale, which I wanted to see for the longest time. I've heard fantastic things. Um, I can't wait to watch this. I will do a review on this when I've watched it because um, I think it's going to be really interesting. And she said it was really good as well. So I'm really excited about that. Bernard got me Orange is the New Black. First season on Blu-ray. Never watched it. So excited to watch it. Everybody said fantastic things. I cannot wait to watch this. But Jess, you saw we did a present swap and I gave her... Um, presents in a frozen bag and she gave me presents in this bag uh, so I'll just kind of quickly show you what she got me because I did show it a bit some stickers from Paper Chase which are awesome which match this notebook which is so super cute and it now smells really nice because it smells in this bag um, these chocolates which you saw and look at that I still have four left I haven't eaten the rest yet which you should be proud of. it was Tuesday that she gave me these so I did well this little polar bear from the body shop that has a lip lip balm and a body butter in which again I need to open this up I wanted to show wanted to show you guys I guess I don't know I don't know why I haven't opened it up yet I want to do that I want to smell them and then this amazing bath balm from Lush so she said that the reason that I got you this bath balm I don't know if you can guess what it is as soon as I opened it up like that I knew um my favorite painting is Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh and she said that this bath balm but you know, reminded her of that painting and that's why she got it. I thought it was so sweet and so lovely and it's, it smells so good. I just don't even want to use it right yet because it's making everywhere smell amazing. Um, so that was really nice of her. Thank you so much for the lovely presents. Okay, and then finally, my dad got me some gifts. He got me some socks, which are awesome because everybody needs socks. Um, Tobro with the chocolate. His um, girlfriend got me these lip glosses, which are really nice and smell good too. And it's a little blusher and a little spray in here, which is really nice of her, and I really love those. Thank you. Um, and then this, my dad got me Wonderstruck Tales of Perfume Enchanted. This smells so good. It smells so good. I really, really like. I didn't smell it before I asked for it, so. I was like, hmm, but it smells really good. Um, Just Dance 
theme of Frozen and what does the fox say? What does the fox say? So I'm really excited to play this. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't had the chance to do that yet. Modern Family. Season 3 and 4, you guys know. I'm loving Modern Family. I started watching this one already um, last night. I'm so excited. I really, really love these. Um, I love Modern Family. I'm so excited to have Series 3 and 4. I'm so happy. And then a movie he got me was Chef, which I'm really excited to see. You guys said it's really fantastic, so I'm really excited to have that movie. The last two things that my dad got me here are all books, because, you know, he said, what do you want? And I said, oh, quite like some books. And they listed um, a few books that I wanted. And so, yeah, he got me these books, and I'm really excited to read them all, but I will be talking about them in more depth in a book course, so I'll just run through them very quickly. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe, which I've heard fantastic things about. We Were Liars. Let's Get Lost, which has a really awesome cover, and I think it was about a road trip, so I'm excited about that. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I'm really excited about that. And the final two books in the Heroes of Olympus um, series, House of Hades and Blood of Olympus. Yeah! So, oh, I'm so excited um, about those books as well. I'm really excited and so grateful about everything, especially having it all I had together right here. It was kind of not all together before. Um, I've got some really, really wonderful things. I have so many things to read and watch and do and wear and everything's so wonderful. So if everybody, um, family members, friends, everybody who, um, you know, um, who I mentioned in this video, thank you so much. Um, if you got me a present or just anything, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you to my mum because she watches my videos. I don't know if she'll watch this whole video because she already knows what she got me and she actually knows she already knows about all these things, so maybe she'll watch it anyway, just to be curious about what I'll say. I really appreciate all these things. I had a fantastic Christmas and I can't even believe it. It's just too good to be true and I am really grateful um, so that I'm so lucky of a person. Um, so thanks so much. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you got some lovely gifts um, and I will share my Christmas joy. And comment down below um, you know, if you made a video or with anything, that, if you've seen anything or read anything here, um, I'd love to know. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it's a bit long, but I did want to kind of go into a bit more detail about some things just for my future little self. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Have a great um, rest of the holiday season.